In this video, you'll better understand open circuit messages and short circuit messages and how to respond to them. Open circuit and short circuit messages are lower priority alerts. Those zones can't operate, but the remainder of your system can run as programmed. These messages mean that an individual zone could not operate due to a problem on the solenoid side of the bicoder. Issues on the two-wire side of the bicoder, such as an overcurrent or a communication issue, can prevent system-wide watering and are rated high priority. An open circuit message on two-wire systems happens when an assigned zone runs and the controller doesn't find a solenoid with the appropriate resistance. When it attempts to run that zone, the controller will log an open circuit message. Before we talk about the causes, let's review the parts that are involved. Coming in, we have a two-wire path with DBRY6 splices connected to the bicoder. Going out of the bicoder, there are DBY6 splices connected to the valve solenoid. This error refers only to the solenoid side of the bicoder, not the two-wire side. Here are a few causes of an open circuit message. The solenoid has failed. There's a bad splice at the solenoid. There's no solenoid splice in at all. This last cause can happen when a four-zone bicoder only has three zones attached to it and the fourth wire is empty. To repair these issues, either replace the solenoid or replace the splice with the DBRY6 splice. If there isn't a zone valve attached to the wire, go back to the controller or base manager and unassign that extra zone. The controller will stop checking it even though it's attached to the wire path. Open circuit messages on conventional wire systems are almost the same. Here's the parts review. Coming in, there's the white common and a red zone wire with DBRY6 splices connected to the valve. How does a bicoder figure into this? On conventional wired systems, a powered bicoder lives in the controller cabinet, essentially a large zone bicoder with long wires out to the solenoids. The causes are the same as on two wire systems. The solenoid has failed. There's a bad splice at the solenoid. There's no solenoid spliced in at all or the number 14 field wire is broken and not connected. It's not uncommon for people to assign all the zones on a power bicoder, but not connect some of them to a zone. Every time the controller checks the last two terminals, there is no solenoid, so the controller logs an error message. Just to unassign those two zones and the message won't come back. Short circuit messages on two R systems happen when an assigned zone runs and the controller finds a solenoid with very low or no resistance. When it attempts to run that zone, the controller will log a short circuit message. This error refers only to the solenoid side of the bicoder, not the two-wire side. Here are a few possible causes of a short circuit message. The solenoid has failed. The two solenoid leads are touching or intermittently touching. An extra zone on a bicoder isn't being used and isn't safely capped off. To repair these issues, either replace the solenoid or replace the splice with the DBRY6 splice to avoid any shorts. When you have an unused zone on a bicoder, it's a good practice to cap off that extra wire to avoid shorts and to prevent water intrusion into the bicoder. Short circuit messages on conventional wire systems are almost the same, except that the solenoid wires are extended with the existing number 14 wire and the bicoder, in this case a power bicoder, is back inside the controller. The issues are the same as on a two-wire system. The solenoid has failed or the two solenoid leads are touching or intermittently touching. Since the existing field wire is all after the powered bicoder, it's all considered the solenoid side. Your search for a short may involve traditional wire tracking tools. Messages or errors related to the two-wire side of the bicoder are covered in another video.